Hello, welcome to this TechnicForce tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss product bundling with Cloud Funnels. One of the easiest ways to double or triple your sales revenue is to offer your buyers product bundles. Once they've made the decision to buy that first product, it's generally a lot easier for them to purchase add ons. Cloud Funnels makes this easy to do with simple product bundles. To set it up, simply go to your sales funnel here in the Funnels and Sites page. You can choose your sales funnel and then click the edit funnel button. If you're selling many different products, you may have many different order forms. In this case, we have just the single product and a single order form. Let's take a look at the page setup to see the product that we're selling. If we scroll to the bottom, we can select product and we'll see that this order form is selling the e-learning bundle. So let's open our products page in a new tab. And we'll click edit to take a closer look at our e-learning bundle. If we scroll down to the bottom of the details field, we can see all the sub products that are automatically added to this purchase. And we can also see optional products that can optionally be added to this purchase. So in the case of this e-learning bundle product, it has two optional products that we can offer. Product 0001 Motivation and 0005 Project Management. Let's go back to our funnel. And here we are on the order page setup. We'll go back to our funnel page selector. And here on the order form, let's go ahead and edit this existing page. Now here's our order form for the e-learning bundle. And within the form, we have included two optional products that can be purchased with a single click. We can customize these to show our optional products. In this case, it was project management and motivation. So we'll just customize these fields to show the products that they represent. And now here in the associated checkbox for each of these products, let's select the checkbox element and the checkbox is separate from the actual box element here, this span. So let's make sure we select the actual checkbox itself. And then we'll go to component settings and we'll make sure that the checkbox has the optional products input label here. And it does. Now here for the value, we have to put the product ID number. So let's go back to our products tab and for project management it was 0005. So here in the value we will input 0005. And now we'll do the same thing for the motivation product. So we'll select this checkbox here and then we will go to the component settings and again we'll see that optional products is labeled properly as the input and now for value we'll input the product ID number. So again, we'll go back to our products listing and the ID number for the motivation product was 0001. So we'll input that here in the value 0001. And then we'll save our changes. Now, when someone fills out this form as part of our funnel, they'll be purchasing the assigned product. In this case, it's called e-learning bundle. And if they check mark either of these boxes, the associated product will be automatically added to their order. So let's go back to our funnel to see how that actually works. Here's our order form. We'll open the page settings. We'll copy the URL to our clipboard. We'll go ahead and open that in a new tab. Then we'll enter some test information here and then we'll submit. And this opens our payment method. In this case, this is a PayPal sandbox, but we'll just enter our payment credentials here. And then if we click here, we can expand the cart to see exactly what we've purchased. And here is the e-learning bundle, which included these three products here. And then here is the project management course, product ID number 0005 for 100 and the motivation course 0001 for 20. 
And how easy is that? Just click continue to finish the purchase. With product bundling, you can make the same amount of commissions from one customer that you would normally make off of three. Now going back to take a look at the order form templates. Let's just take a closer look at this one here. Now going back to the order form template, you'll see that these optional products are located within the form element. And on this particular template, it's fairly obvious to see. But let's take a look at some of the other templates that are not so obvious. Here's another order form template where the optional products appear as though they may be outside of the form. But that's only to appearances. In actual structure, they are included inside the form. If it's not exactly clear where the form is, you can use this icon here to view the components of your page editor. And here we can see the outer box and here is the form itself. So by selecting the form element, we can see that these optional products are actually included within the form. Now this is very important to keep in mind because if you're not going to be using a template, if you prefer to design your own order form from scratch, you must remember that the optional products must appear within the form. Here's another order form example. And again, the optional products do not seem to appear within the order form. But let's highlight our components. And here we can see, again, there is the form. And so everything within this form box is included within the form, including these optional products. Now here's another order form template where the optional products appear to be removed from the order form. And even if I hover over the highlighted elements, I'm having trouble finding the actual outline of the form. So another tool that we can use to locate the form outline is our layers tab. So here we'll select layers and then we'll select the main body. We'll see there's two components here, a link in a box. So we'll open up the box and within the box, we'll see that there's a form. So go ahead and select form here within the layers and that highlights our form here now. So we can see the form that includes the optional products as well as the actual data collection form. And that's how easy it is to use product bundling with CloudFunnels. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.